looking back, it's almost been three weeks since I started learning Godot. That's honestly pretty damn long, so with Fuma Shooter, I believe I have enough experience for my belt to make my childhood game. Calamity Farm. What is Calamity Farm? I use Fumo Shooter as a proxy to learn game development skills so I can make Calamity Farm. Alright, so let's start off with development. I started off with a character controller, made a slide jump because I never made it before, quickly switched on to farming, which I even more quickly discarded. I wanted to do combat instead of farming. Now initially these were these little slimes, I'm pretty sure you can tell what they are. I quickly modeled the scythe. Every single day I've been practically switching up every single style, but the number one thing is retro PSX. Why am I using this massive retro filter? I do not have good modeling skills. As for combat, everyone's been saying it looks exactly like my previous game. <laughs> God damn. To be honest, my previous game, Fumo Shooter, it's actually pretty damn fun. However, I'm making it different by just fleshing it out. So I started injecting it with AI, which I use from Risk of Rain. I think, surprisingly, their AI system is really simple. It's literally just what's in cooldown, what's not in cooldown, can I use this? Are they close enough? Okay, if they are, I'm gonna go use it. Unfortunately, somehow it took me like five days of pain and suffering. Like, I literally spent like 20 hours trying to figure it out even though it was so simple because I couldn't wrap my head around four loops and arrays because I never used arrays and I hate as for map design, I didn't, I couldn't really figure out what to do. I was thinking, okay, let's just copy Risk of Rain 2, or let's make it very linear. How can I make the player go around and look for items, but allow them to blitz through the game? And how can I make it so if they blitz through the game, they're gonna be completely folded? How can I force them to not take their time and grab all the stuff from the current stage? Well, I spent like three hours on it until I accidentally increase the scale of the map to 5,000% and somehow I figured out how procedural generation works on the same day. There is one thing I'm not really into which is, ironically, the items, the most important thing. Mainly because, well, number one rule is you always pick up items, there's no really choice. You see an item, you pick it up and my god does it give a dopamine crack addiction. However, I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be using Hollow Knight's charm system because someone told me and I thought it sounded cool. That's really all I have. Thank you for my TED talk. This is Plimbo. He is a single celled organism. He has one move called Stomp. I'd like you to guess what it does. I love this thing to death. So much so that I actually scrapped him off in just two days.